I've built a process to get you into a new home in 90 days or less. And of course, it starts off with a plan. You gotta build a great plan. What I want you to do is actually stop looking for houses. Get off realtor.ca, get off remax.ca, no more looking at houses. For the next week, we're gonna build a plan, you and I. Give me a call, let's sit down, let's go for a coffee, let's figure out what you need in your next house. You've gotta set your budget. So figure out what you wanna spend per month on a mortgage, uh, include your taxes in there and all of your costs to operate it. Then if you are a homeowner today, I want you to call your current financial institution. And if you're not a homeowner today, if you're renting, I want you to call a mortgage broker. Give me a shout. I can connect you up with some great ones. I want you to get pre-approved or I want you to talk about porting your current mortgage over to your new house. See if that's, that's possible. And for homeowners, you also want to talk to your bank about something called bridge financing. So let's start building that plan of how you'll finance the property. Then we need to sit down and talk about your needs and wants. So what you have to have in the next home, what you'd really love to have in the next home, if you could get it, what you're willing to uh, give up on, what's next. And then the last part of our plan is actually, I'm calling it an exit strategy. So what are you going to do with your current home or your current apartment? If you're renting, you know you need to give 60 days notice, figure out the forms that you need to give in, you know, maybe even start with your landlord talking about, you know, I'm thinking about making a change. Um, if you own your home, we've got to talk about, are we selling that home first before you buy, or are we going to buy first and then sell the home? What's the right strategy for you? So let's build that plan. That's seven days. Now, on the other end of things, you know, most people in Ottawa are looking for about a 30 day closing. So I'm going to lose 30 days just from we found you the great home. We need to put the mortgage in place and get all that set up in 30 days. So that leaves us about 55 days in between to do some some shopping. And now when I say shopping, I really mean shopping. So we're actually not buying homes right now. I have a little rule of thumb that I like to use that you have to see about seven homes before you really know what you want in your next home. Seven with some variety and some differences and some unique features, maybe some different neighborhoods. Put your put your mindset in a, in a different mode for a little while till you figure that out. So what I will do is I'll set you up on the MLS. So no more realtor.ca. Let's get things as fast as you possibly can. I'll set up a search based on your needs and wants and the neighborhoods that you like. But you also have another job too. So I want you to visit some different neighborhoods. So Ottawa's got lots of great neighborhoods. Go for a coffee in a different place, a neighborhood that you don't actually know so well, um, and then and, and have some fun. This is actually a really interesting, fun thing to do because we're just shopping for this, this next week. So different coffee, different coffee shop every day, different neighborhood for five days. Get that week done where we're just shopping. After this week, now we've just got 50 days left ish. Um, now we're buying. Now we should know exactly what you want. You know, if we had some luck in those first five days, uh, maybe we found something with those first seven homes, but not likely. But now we know what we're watching for as things are coming up. And we go out and we see something every single week. If nothing comes up in the MLS that you love, doesn't matter. We go see something, something that's close. Pictures lie. Pictures don't always tell the truth. Sometimes it looks better. Sometimes it looks worse. Let's take a few risks. Let's go out and see something. But as long as we're seeing something every single week, then we're in buying mode. And once we get into buying mode, of course, we're going to, we're going to find something that you love and want to make an offer on. Um, so of course, I'll take care of writing up the offer. Um, you get to make all the hard decisions, like what's it worth? Uh, what's the price I'm going to pay for it? I'll do all the research and what recent sales have happened in the neighborhood and do evaluation for you on it as well. Um, if we get lucky, of course, they'll accept our offer. That's fantastic. Great, you bought a home. If not, they're gonna do something what we call counter offer. They're gonna reply with some changes to our offer. We're gonna do a little dance back and forth. Um, and eventually we'll come to what the right price is for the home, what we can both, both parties agree upon. Uh, we may have for some conditions in it as well, right? So conditions for financing, conditions for a home inspection, uh, maybe even conditions for some insurance or, or a pool inspection, depends what uh, the place has. So once we go through that, uh, that process of getting rid of all of our conditions, we will have what we call a firm deal, a firm offer. Once we are in that firm offer stage, we do have to provide a deposit. This would have been negotiated in, uh, in our agreement. And our next steps are planning the next 30 days. As I said, 30 days is really common, but it could be longer. It could be 60 or 90 days as well, or any date in between. Um, the last step we have to do, uh, because all our conditions have been removed, we need to talk to the lawyer. So the lawyer is going to be doing some, uh, some title searches and, uh, and looking uh, for ways to get you clear 
clear title so you can register a mortgage on place and you just need to start packing. So that is my 90 days to buying you a new home. If you have any questions about this process, uh, feel free to reach out. My information's down below in the comments section uh, and looking forward to talking with you soon.